Hey guys, it's me Kayla and welcome to my channel. Today guys, I'm going to be giving you an updated tour of my lip balm collection. So with my old organization, I was starting to run out of room. I could barely even open a lot of the drawers because they were just so stuffed to the max. So I did a lot of reorganizing lately. I bought some new containers and I am just really loving the way everything is set up right now. Without further ado, we are going to get straight into the updated organization and I hope that you guys will enjoy watching. So let's get started. What did I just do? That was so unnecessary. Now let's get into it, okay? So I'm gonna start off by going through this drawer organizer right here. I actually have two different organizers stacked on top of each other. So we are going to dive into this drawer. And in here, we have all of my Revo lip balms. Now, some of you may not even be familiar with this brand of lip balm. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Um, but 80% of everything that's in here is now discontinued and you cannot find in stores anymore. These kind of look like EOS, except as you can see, some of them have different dimensions like this one. This one kind of looks like a honeycomb and then this one literally resembles an EOS to a T. I also have some in here with really fun designs. The majority of these I purchased a very long time ago. I'd have to say some of my favorite ones are the holiday ones because they literally look like Christmas bulbs that you hang on your tree and they make me super happy. My favorite one out of my entire collection is this one. It's called Butterscotch Cream and I literally bought like four of it because I never wanted to risk running out. Only lip balm collectors can relate. So that was the first drawer of my collection. Moving on to the second drawer, we have all of my EOS lip balm. Not only do I have the ones in the spherical packaging, but I also have the EOS smooth sticks. Question for you guys, as you watch this, I want you to comment below. Do you pronounce these lip balms like EOS or EOS? Just let me know in the comments because I'm super curious. But in this drawer, I really do not have many duplicates at all. I try to just keep one of each. But fun fact, EOS is actually the very first brand of lip balm that I started collecting. In fact, my first one ever was this one. It is called Strawberry Sorbet. If I had to choose a favorite flavor from this bin, it would most certainly be the Honey Apple. I believe this is a flavor that's always around. So if you don't have it yet, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. But okay, so that is all for my EOS drawer. Then, okay, you guys, this third drawer down, without a doubt, is my favorite of them all, okay? In here are my vintage lip balms, and you guys don't even understand how much I adore all of these lip balms right here, okay? So a lot of the ones on top are unopened. So we have this Hostess Cupcake lip balm, and how old is this? I think it says the date on the back. It is from 2004, which is insanely amazing. This is one of my favorite items that I have in my collection. It is the Lip Smacker Peanut Butter and Jelly Duo Set. So the top one is peanut butter, the bottom one is jelly. We have this little iPod lip balm. So then this Bugs Bunny lip balm, the box is literally falling apart. You can tell just how old this is uh, by the packaging. It's kind of getting that hint of yellow to it. This was released in the year 1996. So this is older than I am. This lip balm is in the flavor peach. I definitely will never be taking it out of the box because then it would just lose its value. Yeah, I am super obsessed with vintage things if you couldn't tell. We've got a random boot lip balm. Ooh, baby bottle pop lip glosses. I just love the way all of this looks. Oh, okay. So this is actually even older than the Bugs Bunny lip balm that I showed you. It is this Bonnie Bell bubblegum lip smacker. And you guys, this was from the 1980s. I could spend such a long time going through just this drawer alone. But like I said, this video would be literally hours long. So if you would like an in-depth tour of this vintage lip balm drawer, then please let me know in the comments because I can absolutely do that for you if enough of you are interested. So now we're gonna move on to drawer number four. And as you can see, we have a bunch of different lip smacker products in here. So mainly what I keep in here are ones that aren't just like the straight up lip smacker lip balms. So we've got tons of the little lip glosses. We also have some lip smacker tins, which I am obsessed with. We have some lippy pals in here. 
and eventually I would kind of like to organize this a little bit better like put all of the squeezy tube lip glosses in one section and the tins in another and all that jazz um I was gonna do that before this video but realistically this is how it looks most of the time so um let's see oh these are super cool these are actually roll-on lip smacker lip glosses. This is in Kiwi Berry. We have the Layer It Lip Smacker. This one is Pomegranate Lemonade. So the lemonade is up there. The pomegranate is on the bottom. I love the concept of these. I think it's really creative. This is one of my more vintage ones that I actually should probably put in here. This is the Paul Frank Coconut Cream Lip Gloss. And I love this so much. In fact, this is kind of embarrassing, but the lip balm that I had to go with it that's in the same flavor, I loved the scent of it so much whenever I was little. I used to actually rub it all over my legs and arms so it would be like a perfume because, I don't know, I always wanted a coconutty smelling perfume, so I would literally just do that. Yeah, I forgot about that until I saw it. <laughs> I also love these bottle cap lip glosses. I think that they are super duper cool. But yeah, so that is an overview of this drawer. The next one down contains more lip smacker products because let's be real, I have the most lip smackers, I think, out of every lip balm in my entire collection. So we have just like the super fun shaped lip smackers in here. So I have a ton of the lip smacker frappe lip balms and I love them so much. Um, I also have a ton of the soda ones, the summer drink ones. This one is, how do you even say that? A guas freshishka, guava pineapple. We've got some of these really, really cool lip smacker flip bombs. Wait, it's hard to do with one hand. There we go. Okay, so there's the lip balm right there and they're super lightweight and very, very neat. So that's a gingerbread girl. Um, I have a few of those. I have a snowman as well. And I also have like a little peppermint swirl. And then of course, towards the bottom, I have a ton of these Lip Smacker Tsum Tsums. I love these so much. They're all Disney characters. Eeyore is actually one of my favorites because not only is he adorable, but the flavor is, it's Cheer Up Buttercup. So the name is adorable and the flavor is bomb. We have Dumbo in Peanut Butter Milkshake. Tinkerbell, and you guys know I love Tinkerbell. She's my favorite. Honestly, they are super cool. I wish they would come out with more Lip Smacker Tsum Tsums, like these classic ones. I know they're super like bulky and heavy, but honestly, I just think they're adorable. Like this is Tigger in Bouncy Bubblegum. I just think they're so unique and fun. So that's what was in this drawer right here. And then for the very bottom drawer in this organizer, we have my Liplicious Lip Glosses. So here's an overview of all of them. And if you guys didn't know, Liplicious lip glosses are sold exclusively at Bath & Body Works. And they used to have different ones coming out all the time, but unfortunately they don't really release them like they used to. Every now and then they will put some out for Christmas or maybe Valentine's Day, but they are pretty hard to come by nowadays. So I will show you guys some of my personal favorites, okay? This is actually one of them right here. It's called Thanks a Latte in the Flavor Vanilla Latte. I actually have the whole entire coffee shop collection that this is a part of. I won a bid for it on eBay and I paid a ridiculous amount for them, but it was just the thrill of getting them, I think. Um, what else? Oh, Fresh Picked Cherries. This is from the year 2011. I Heart Watermelon was also from 2011, I believe. Ooh, this is honestly, I think the oldest one that I own. It is Cupcakes Strawberry from 2010. You guys, this is almost 11 years old, which is actually crazy. And the crazier part is that it still smells good and tastes good too. Oh wait, I didn't know I had this. Cupcakes Pink Chiffon. Well, apparently I have two from the super rare Cupcakes collection. That is news to me. But you guys, that was an overview of my Liplicious Lip Gloss collection. So now we're gonna move on to this organizer, all right? 
Okay, so first of all, can we just acknowledge how adorable my little smacky stuffed animal is? That's apparently what he's called. Um, I found him on eBay for like $7. And now he is holding this royal bedazzled watermelon lip smacker. Pretty awesome. So the first drawer we have is full of my random fun shaped lip balms. I have a ton of random miscellaneous balms and they used to all be mixed together. And I was starting to run out of room organizing them that way. So now, actually this drawer has all of the random ones that have faces. I know that's super weird, but like, for example, we have this fun little jaggy ball with a smiley face. We have the bunny peeps. Um, we have these little baby Bartoon characters. Is this a tomato or a strawberry? I don't know, it looks like a tomato, but I think it's supposed to be a strawberry. We've got a little Santa Claus. And yeah, you will observe that anything in this drawer literally has a face and a really strange shape. Like this is a cube. This is a jaggy sphere. Um, this is literally shaped like a legit turtle. This is shaped like a duck. You get the point. But this is one of my favorite drawers. Not because I use a ton of these. Honestly, I don't. I like them more just for the aesthetic and the fun factor. Oh, look at this little bear. It's adorable. The list just goes on and on. We even have a little person. Like, how fun. All right, so that's what was in the top drawer of this organizer. Now we're gonna move down to the second one. And these are also my random fun shaped lip balms, except these, they don't have faces, okay? These mostly are shaped like different foods. Like we have a green ring pop, seashells. Oh my gosh, I remember I was obsessed with these. They are called Pogo lip balms. And they were actually really, really good. I haven't used them in a long time, so I don't know if they're good anymore. But they are very, very unique. This one looks like a police siren, a balmy, and these are not sold in the United States. Someone sent it to me from the Netherlands, which is super cool. I feel like this drawer is bottomless and it would be so much fun to go through all of them one day. But anyways, that was a quick overview of everything that I have in that drawer. So now we are going to move on to the third one down. We have a ton of homemade lip balms in here. So these are brands that are just exclusively sold online and that use all natural organic ingredients, okay? So I'll show you some of my favorites. This is my lip stuff and the flavor is cake and ice cream. These lip balms tend to have more of a slippery consistency, but there are literally like a million flavors on their website, so I think it's really cool. Um, we've got Liquor Lips, which is another one of my favorites. I used to be obsessed with Liquor Lips. And then also we have Treat. This is Tropical Punch. There's just so many different ones. This is Balm Standard. They sent me some of their products. Um, oh, oh, here's another good one. This is Crazy Rumors. And then, oh, I just ordered this one. This is from Caitlin's Cosmetics, and she is actually a subscriber of mine. So shout out to you, Caitlin, if you're watching this. But yeah, that was just a quick little overview of the lip balms in that drawer. So next up, guys, we have more random lip balms, except as you can see, these don't have fun shapes. They are just the regular stick format ones. So this is actually one of my favorites. It's this Hershey's Kissables lip balm, and look, there's even like a little kissable on the end of the keychain. It's so cute. Oh, what's this? Okay, so this actually does not belong in here. It was kind of buried, but these are unopened mermaid lip balms. So I'm gonna put those in here real quick where I put my unopened lip balms. A lot of these have super fun packaging though. Um, and they are from various brands. So I will just say for the record that this Wet n Wild Juicy Jumbo Lip Balm was one of the very first lip balms that I added to my collection when I decided to not just collect EOS and Baby Lips because that's all that I collected to start. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, that's what is in that drawer. So then for the last two drawers, we have my unopened lip balm packs, okay? I will try to go through most of these quickly. We have these beauty gems and these are just so pretty. And I think the packaging makes them look even prettier, which is why I didn't open it yet because I could even put that on display. It's honestly just so cute. These are actually unopened vintage lip balms. And the reason that I have them in here is because I actually could not fit any more in here. And I don't want anything to get ruined by stuffing the drawer up too much. 
So anyways, we have this little unicorn and here's one of my favorite unopens. It is this little bulldog wearing a Christmas sweater and he's in a snow globe. So I think it's super cool. We got some Revos, some holiday lip balms. We have these three Crayola bombs that actually a fan sent to me. Um, a fan also sent these ones to me. They are the Mongo Kiss Lip Bombs. There is Unicorn Sparkle Cotton Candy, Pixie Dust Sherbet, and Mermaid Dreams Blueberry Pie. I really wanna open these sometime soon, but the packaging is just so enchanting to me. So then in the last drawer, we just have some more unopened lip balms, but these in particular are all lip smackers, okay? So I just could not open these. Um, they are lip smackers that look like they are in a snow globe. And I opened these on Christmas morning and it was actually sent to me as fan mail. So this one has flavors that are based off of New York City. So uh, there's iced chai latte, banana pudding, the big apple. And then we have a Los Angeles snow globe. And some of the flavors in here are Tropical Bliss, Hollywood Berry, and Strawberry Sunsets. I just cannot get myself to open them because once I do, I feel like they will lose their cool factor and they'll just blend in with the rest, if you know what I'm saying. We've got these two unopened Lip Smacker Trio Packs and they look like candies. Eventually, I'll probably open some of these, but for now, I'm just not because I love the packaging and it makes me happy. So anyways, you guys, that is what was in the first two tall drawer organizers. And now I wanna introduce you to these new organizers over here, okay? Actually, these two you guys have seen before, but I updated the things that were inside of them. And also this big white bin is brand spanking new. So we're gonna start up here. And first, as you can see, we have some lip balms that are on display. And these are actually my own lip balms that I make myself. So in case you're new here, I have my own lip balm business. It is called Lipsest, and my products are sold exclusively online through eBay and Etsy. So this is my most recent collection, and it is actually a fall collection because your girl cannot wait for fall. Okay, so the flavors that we have are Apple Orchard and Apple Crumb Cake, Crisp Autumn Air and Pumpkin Spice, Harvest Moon and Golden Hour Pear, Friday Night Lights and Touchdown Toffee, because you know, football games and fall go hand in hand. Then we have Fall Flannel and Vanilla Chai Latte. And last but definitely not least, we have Dancing Leaves and Acorn Cookie. But I did just wanna show you guys those flavors because they are currently available on my shop. So definitely check them out. I'll have the link to where you can get them below. So anyway, first up we have my Chopstick brand chopsticks. <laughs> no, we have my Chopstick brand lip balms, okay? And I love these, okay? I actually have quite a few that I need to go buy. But um, I have a lot of the older flavors, like this one, for example. This is vintage. It's the Flava Craze Chapstick. And what flavor is it? I'm trying to find it. It says Funky Flavored Lip Protection. Watch it be like watermelon and they call it funky. Oh my gosh, it's actually watermelon splash. I'm not kidding. Well, apparently they consider that funky. They have never seen lip cess before if they think that is a funky flavor. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, we've got like mint chocolate, we've got mango, we've got fruit punch. And the reason that I know all these flavors is because they have, they usually have a photo of like what the flavor is on the cap, which is super cool. Sugar cookie grape, we have a random Shrek one. That is what's in that drawer. Then we have some more chapstick products. These lip balms right here are the chapstick total hydration. I've got like the whole rainbow, super cool. And then these are my favorite products by Chapstick. I don't know if they still have these in stores, but these are the Snap Change and Rearrange Lip Balms. So pretty much this flavor right here, I believe, oh gosh, I can't be forgetting this, Cotton Candy and Cupcake. So you can put like one flavor on your top lip, one flavor on your bottom lip, and you could even like change them around. It's super cool, I love the concept. So anyways, then in the bottom drawer, we have some soft lips, okay? I love these Hello Kitty ones the most. I think that they are so fun and adorable. Then we have the skinniest chapsticks that I own, okay? Um, this is a maple butter flavor. 
Um, and then these soft lips right here in this packaging, they're my least favorite because I don't know. I just don't like them very much because of the packaging. I think it's boring. So I love the skinny ones. I love the Hello Kitties. And then also we have these little ice cubes. Well, they look like ice cubes, but they are soft lips cubes and they have a super unique packaging, which I love. Okay, now guys, we are down to these drawers right here. And um, in the first one, we have my Jumbo Lip Cest lip balms. So like I mentioned, Lip Cest is my own brand. Those are the regular sized ones and these are the Jumbos. So let me show you a size comparison. This is Shirley Temple. Oh, okay, that one died. There we go. See the difference? It's pretty cool. This one, by the way, is one of my favorites, but sadly, it is discontinued. One of my most recent releases was this one. It is Blueberry Maple Pancake, and unfortunately, this one is also sold out. My Jumbos typically sell out within the first day of listing them, which is really crazy. This one is Bomb Popsicle, and it has the flavors Cherry Lemon and Blue Raspberry. Let me show you why this one is so neat. So this one is literally triple layer flavored. The red is the cherry, the white is lemon, and the bottom is blue raspberry. So this was definitely probably my coolest release of the year. Also, I made a Dippin' Dots collection. This is rainbow ice. So anyways, okay, that is what's in the top drawer. Then for the middle drawer, we have Pucker Pops galore, and these are just so Fun. I mean, look at that, okay? Um, I honestly never use these, like, ever, um, because in my opinion, the product just kind of feels cheap, but I do not buy it for the product. I buy it for the super fun packaging. Um, yeah, these are my guilty pleasure. I love them so much. I mean, we have a banana. We have a glow-in-the-dark mummy. We have this frog with a sparkly tiara, one that's jump roping. It's just super cool, and we even have a little baby. Then for the bottom drawer, we have baby lips. And honestly, my baby lips are probably my least favorite part of my collection. I mean, some of them do have really great color payoff, but I'm just not really into them. We're gonna make that drawer really quick. All right, you guys, so now for the very last drawer organizer. Like I said, this is a new addition to my bedroom, okay? I bought this because it fit all of these brands I'm about to show you so perfectly, and I even have some extra space. With the top drawer, we've got my Lot of Love and Taste Beauty lip balms. So we have some unopened ones. I love these so much. These are little juice boxes. There's Blueberry Blast. Golden Apple, Orange Lemonade, and Watermelon. Oh wait, there's one more, there's one more. Um, strawberry Kiwi. I love those so much. We also have this unopened pack of Fruit Gusher Lip Balms. The reason that I love these so much is because they are so inexpensive and actually they smell like what they're supposed to for the most part. This is one of my favorites. It almost looks like a mini brand product. It's just so perfect, okay? So that is an overview of my Lotta Love lip balm collection. Whoa, okay. So guys, if you're still watching this, I want you to comment watermelon sugar in the comments below, okay? Cause I've been filming for a while now. Anyways, now we are moving on to the middle drawer and this is my favorite drawer of all because it contains my lip sensed lip balms which like I said, um, I am the creator of this brand. So this whole entire drawer is filled with lip balms that I made myself. And, um, oh my gosh, wait, look how cool this is. This is one of the very first flavors I ever made. It's Icy Blueberry Blast. And um, look, I used to actually draw everything by hand. That's how I started. This is one of my more recent flavors. It's called the Ringmaster Roar and Red Apple from my Big Top Circus collection. So the packaging has really evolved as you can see by that example. As you can tell, I've made hundreds of different flavors and one of them is even warm tomato soup. So I set no limitations with my flavors. I think savory is fun. Ooh, here's a Christmas one. This is Kringle Candy Cane. Um, Roast Beast Feast, another very unique one. Oh, this is not supposed to be in here. This is Slice of Heaven. 
and um, I'm gonna set this right here. As you can see, it is a jumbo. It does not go with these ones, but I made this yesterday, so this is actually my most recent flavor, and as of right now, it is still available, but that could change by the end of the day. So I'm sorry if you look and it's not, but this one is insanely amazing. It smells and tastes just like almond cake with buttercream frosting and a raspberry filling. This lip balm was inspired by the Bean Boozled Jelly Bean game. So it's berry blue or toothpaste. Let me see which one it is, hang on. It's toothpaste, but it actually smells really good. Also, if you saw in the beginning, I took out this bag. Um, the reason that these lip sets are in a plastic bag is because it is my favorite collection and I don't want them to get lost within my collection. So um, this was for back to school. It was a Snoopy calendar collection. So each of these lip balms represents all 12 months of the year. Uh, for example, February was in Cherry Sweet Lollipop. Um, December was Candy Cane Hot Cocoa. And I'm absolutely obsessed with these. I could honestly go on and on and on about these lip balms. But for the sake of time, I am not going to ramble on too much more. But the last thing I'm going to say is if you guys were interested in trying out my lip sets for yourselves, then I will put the link to my eBay and Etsy shop in the description box below where you can find these. And I promise if you try them, you will not regret it at all. And honestly, you'll probably become addicted. And uh yeah, don't say I didn't warn you. But trust me, these are so much fun. And they are also natural and organic and sweetened. So all good things. Okay, so I finally got this drawer open, but the last drawer we have is full of lip smackers, okay? So as you can see, these are just like the regular lip smackers. I already showed you guys the other drawers where I have all the fun ones, like the glosses and the Tsum Tsums and all that. But guys, I probably have the same amount of lip smackers as I do lip cess. I love my lip smackers. Besides my own brand of lip balm, lip smackers are my ultimate favorite brand because there's a lot of variety, they're reasonably priced, and they've been around for decades. Oh my gosh, this was my very first lip smacker and I'm not kidding. So this is the Paul Frank Coconut Cream. And remember earlier how I was saying, I used to use this and you'll be able to tell, look, I used to literally put this on my face, on my knees, on my elbows, and oh my gosh, it smells so good. I could see why I did that. Oh my gosh. Really and truly, I need a perfume that smells like this. It's so good. This, is this a jello one? Yeah, this is a berry blue jello one, and it's super cool because it's clear. Um, we've got the jumbos in here. There's so many, so many different ones in here. So needless to say, this is one of my favorite drawers to my crazy collection. Oh my goodness, you guys. So I am officially done showing you my entire lip balm collection organization. That was an arm workout. My arm feels like dead right now. Like, girl, that was a workout for me right there. Anyways, that was all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And guys, the question of the day is, what was your favorite drawer from my lip balm collection that I shared with you today? I'd love to hear your answers. So make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Also, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications. That way you will never miss a crazy fun video like this one from me in the future. But I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Mwah.